All right, let's do this. I'm not loving how my mat is, so I'm gonna crack that. I'm gonna get you guys down on the floor right away. So if you want to add an ankle band around your ankles, now's your chance. You're coming down to your forearms. We're gonna just start with some glute activation right off the get-go. So if you don't have an ankle band or you wanna start a little bit on the easier side, just uh, start with body weight and go from there. We're gonna kick back on that one side. And we're doing two things on this leg. So just kind of stay with me on that for a second here. And then we're gonna be moving over or we make the next exercise in a sec. Okay, so just make sure you're getting that leg all the way out to full extension. Check in that you're feeling that glute. On your next rep, come up to your hands and we're going to go into donkey kick. Okay, so we're going straight up. So you might want to take your band off for this one and just find your glute body weight. So just going straight up, kicking up to the ceiling. I like to ask myself if my heel is in nice and close to my bum. Find that control. And on the next rep, I'm going to invite you to either stay where we're, with where you are or little tiny pulses straight up. So pulse it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quick little child's pose there. Just let that glute fire or calm down. So you're probably very aware of one butt cheek. So let's get down and let's get the other one going. Okay, so let's go out, kicking out again. If you want that band on, let's throw that on just so it's uh, the same on the other side. Just give me one time where we moved up here. Squeezing that glute all the way out. And just ask yourself if you're getting your leg all the way to straight. Okay, we want to have it straight. Kicking that leg out if you can't get that leg straight with the band on, take it off. And just give it a few more reps on this side. And then we're coming up to the hands here, core tight. And let's get that glute happening with these guys. Okay, so just nice gentle start here, but really getting the butt involved. And keep it going. And you guys are more than welcome to stay with these guys just as is, or you can hold it up and little tiny pulse starting right now. Okay, so just pulse it up, pulse it down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, shake it off. And coming up to steady. Okay, so. Standing, let's get a set of squats going here. We're going to stay with the pulses. So if you want to add weight, you're more than welcome to on the first set. We are going to do a few sets. So come to standing. We're going down. We're five pulses at the bottom. So just count out five up and down, and then you're going to come back up. Okay. So just hopefully feeling that base of the glute again as you're at the bottom there. Squeezing those glutes and just keep going back and forth with those reps. Hopefully feeling those glutes. If you aren't feeling it, maybe try going a little lower in your squat. Okay, as soon as you've done your five pulses, you're back up to standing. Repeat, challenge yourself to go a little bit lower. We're gonna go for 10 more seconds, and then we're actually coming into the second set of what we just did, okay? so keep with me for three, two, one, and then we're back on the floor. Okay, so start back with your original leg, down on your forearm, core tight, and let's kick it out. Let's get one more set of glutes here. Okay, so just getting into leg day here. We're creeping our way into the main events here. Okay. So really fighting to get that leg nice and straight. Get that all the way out. And just ask yourself if you're feeling the glute on that side. And just enjoy this. And on your next rep, coming up to your hands and core still tight. Let's do those donkey kicks, same side. So coming up, kicking up towards the ceiling, find those glutes. 
breathing. And just keep asking yourself if your heel could be a little bit closer to your bum. You don't want it to kind of creep out to straight. And then on the next rep, let's either stay with what you're doing or a little tiny pulses. We've got 10. Perfect. Squeeze that glute a little up and down. And three, two, one. Bingo. Give it a little shake out here into a child's pose. As soon as you're ready, let's reset it down onto your forearms. Take a deep breath and we're off on the other side. Squeezing that glute. Leg goes all the way up to straight. Keep that control. Perfect. Just asking yourself if you're feeling that glute. We're going to do a few more reps on the sides. Just stay with me. All the way out. Looks good. And in three, two, one. Coming up to your hands. Let's give it these guys for the last set here. Hopefully your butt is really feeling it. And just squeeze that glute. And then either staying with what you're doing or you're gonna switch to pulses right now. Okay, so last 10 seconds, hold it up. Pulse it up an inch, down an inch. And five, four, three, two, and relax, perfect. Okay, so coming up to standing, you're more than welcome to stay with the five pulses at the bottom if you like that. Otherwise, if you have heavier weights and you wanna add them at your chest, now's your chance and we're just gonna go into a regular set of squats, okay? So just, if you find you like the pulses, more than welcome to stay with it. And especially if you're not using weight, keep those five pulses at the bottom maybe. And we're gonna start it off, okay? So here we go. Notice how low my bum is going. Let's try to get right down to horizontal to the ground. So like your legs are making a 90 degree or a lower. Okay, so really challenge yourself to get that bum down. If you aren't sure, kind of imagine sitting down on a low couch. Okay, try to get your bum way down there. Okay, squeezing those glutes. We're gonna go for 20 more seconds. And just keep going back and forth. We've got our last 15. And the warm up's almost over, team, so just stay with me. <laughs> and three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so going into reverse lunges. So if you're just following along body weight, just uh, follow the leg motion I'm showing you. Otherwise, if you have a dumbbell, you're gonna fold it, you're gonna go down, you're gonna pass it under your leg, you're gonna alternate. We're going to pass it back. Okay, so all that's going to force you to do is get that bum down a little bit lower, okay, into those lunges. Okay, so we're alternating back and forth as we go with a little pass under with a dumbbell, okay, if you have it. Okay, so alternating, your big step happens, you pass your weight to your other hand, you come back, you pass it back to your other hand. Okay, so just keep that control. You'll notice you have to drop that back knee. Try to keep those shoulders back. And if you weren't aware of your glutes before, you're gonna be aware of them now. Perfect. All right, hold that thought. We've got our last 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have a few options here, okay? So you can come back to your squats, okay, for this next exercise. You can also try, if you wanna be by a wall, single leg squats, okay? So down and up, same idea, just you're gonna get a little bit more inner thigh and stability. You can also try those single leg squats or the squats on the BOSU, okay? So both options are available if you have the BOSU, okay? So you can stand on top. Okay, so here we go. Find what feels best for you and we're off. Okay. So if you chose the single leg squat, just be careful that you're not letting your knee track over your toe too much. Okay, you want your knee over your ankle. Okay, and, and then ask yourself if you're feeling your inner thigh when you get to the bottom of your squat. 
Okay, we're going nice and slow. Perfect, it's not a rush. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys 10 more seconds here and I just want you to remember what leg you're on if you're doing single leg squats, okay? So hold that thought. And last three, two, one. Okay, if you guys have dumbbells, grab one in each hand. Otherwise, just follow along body weight. Your feet are just like this. Whatever leg you were standing on for single leg is in front. We're reaching down, we're tapping the ground with the dumbbells, we're coming back up. Okay, so same leg that was down is still in, is in front. Okay, here we go. Okay, so really working on the back of the leg. Be very careful with your lower back. Think about it as a hip hinge. So your bum goes way, way, way back. Notice how I'm moving from my hips, not too much for my knee. Okay. Squeezing glutes, coming all the way back up. The all the way back up part is important. Otherwise, you're going to start feeling your back. Okay. So feel that glute kick in at the top. And three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're back to the squats. So whatever variation felt good, either you're doing double legs on or off the BOSU, or you're doing your single leg squat on or off the BOSU. Okay, so find your squat. Check in with your knee if you're doing single leg. Make sure it's not tracking forward like this. You're going back, right? Getting your bum back. And you probably won't be able to go as low with your single leg squat as if you were doing double feet on the floor, but just ask yourself if you're feeling that inner thigh, okay? Okay, we've got 20 seconds to go. And then we're moving into the single leg deadlift on the other side, okay? So stay with me. Focus on that inner thigh. 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. Okay, revamp. Grab your dumbbells and let's reach down to the floor, tap, come back up. Okay, so this is our plan. If you're following along body weight, just use your body, your body weight to come back up. <laughs> okay, keep it going. We're gonna go 30 seconds. Okay, so remember what I was saying, just stick your butt back, okay? Find some new friends, okay? Really uh, try and make, not bend the knee too much on the front leg. Okay, we're gonna go for our last 10 seconds coming up here. Squeezing that glute. And then we're coming back to those super fun alternating lunges in three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so shake it off, re-establish where we're at here. Okay, so if you need a quick sip of water, that's good. Otherwise, grab your dumbbell. We have the one dumbbell and you're passing it underneath your lunges. Second set, okay? So go down underneath, okay? Nice and slow. And if you're just focusing on the lunge, don't worry about that. Just try to get that back knee down, okay? Just try to almost hit the ground. Perfect. Keep going back and forth, nice and slow. Looks good. Find that control. Perfect. Challenge yourself to maybe get your back knee down a little bit lower. We've got 30 seconds to go, okay? So just stay with me. Shifting that weight into the heel of the front leg. Make sure you're not too toe heavy. Last 20 seconds. And really think about using whatever legs in front. Okay, the back one is always kind of the sidekick. Okay, last 10 seconds. And then we're coming back to the single leg or double leg squats. Okay, so three, two, one. Okay, perfect. So if you chose double leg squats last time, maybe try the single leg squats this time. Everybody that was doing single leg, try your second set. And let's get into this. Nice and low, okay? So you're more than welcome to try it on the bow suit if you have one. Just be careful, okay? Safety first, okay? Nice and slow, you're gonna feel tons of inner thigh on this one, okay? And honestly, like when I'm doing it, if I get eight reps in in 30 seconds, that's a bonus, okay? Go painfully slow. Like try to go all the way to the bottom of your motion. And if you're not sure, try to go a little bit lower. Okay, we're going into our last five. 
four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. You are more than welcome to stay with the single leg deadlift, how we did it the last time. So reaching down, if that felt productive for you, you can also add a balance. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that up to you. Also holding the two weights in front if you're doing the balance. Okay, so here we go. Neither one is better or worse. It just depends what you wanna work on today, okay? So just hold that thought. If you're doing the balance, let's get that ballerina leg up though. Okay, really challenge yourself to get that leg in the back. Think nice and focused. Perfect. We've got 10 more seconds on this leg and then we're gonna go single leg squats one last time on the other side. Okay. So ready in three, two, one. Perfect, shake it off. Okay, re-establish re what's going on here on the other side. So you're more than welcome to do double leg, but if you did your single leg, let's do the second set, just so it's even, and they're off. Okay, base is slow on those single leg squats. Make sure your chest is staying up on these guys, right? Don't tilt forward too much or it becomes a deadlift. Really nice and slow. Find that control. Perfect, we got 10 more seconds. So hold that thought, give it a few more reps. And three, two, one. Okay, remember same rules apply. So you can either stay with these guys, down up, or add in your balance, okay? So just go with how you're feeling today. Okay. Little choose your own adventure there. Nice and slow. Okay. Keep it going. And last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and shake it off. Okay, perfect. Okay, so give it a little time out here. Bosu or no Bosu, it's going to be, just make sure you have enough room to go forward and backward. You're picking a leg, you're going forward lunge, you're going backward lunge, okay? Sorry, I think my screen went broke for right there. Okay, so forward lunge, and then step behind into a reverse lunge. So the main focus is on one leg, but you're gonna feel both. Okay, you can use your Bosu if you want to. The front one is just gonna be a bit short, okay? So find what feels best for you. Let's go and they're off. Okay, so if you're choosing Bosu, the front lunge is like kind of more just a step forward. It's not a, really a lunge, okay? So just going back and forth. You might wanna be by the wall if you're using the Bosu also. Big step back, find those inner thighs again. Alternating back and forth, really focusing on that one side. Perfect. And going into our last 10 seconds here. So stay with me, whatever, whatever leg is your moving leg. Just pay attention to that and chill, okay? So I know there's not really a front leg, but whatever leg you were moving back and forth is the leg that's gonna be behind, okay? So you can have your foot up on a chair or your Bosu, whatever feels comfortable for you. If you have a dumbbell, it's going to be in the hand that's not the leg on the floor. So, and then we're reaching forward, okay? So finding, this is more of a hamstring exercise than what we were doing before. Okay, so similar motion, leaning forward. And if you don't have a dumbbell, let's try to reach down, tap the floor, come back up, okay? So feeling that front leg, tons, think about the core as you're tilting forward. Super slow. And remember your back leg can be up on anything, a chair or the couch. It can even just be on the floor again, but it's up to you. 
and let's give it five, four, three, two, one. We're not going anywhere. This back leg stays up. This leg comes out more. So I guess we are actually going somewhere. Um, if you have your dumbbell, it comes to your chest. Watch that this back hip isn't rotated. You're trying to keep things lined up as much as possible. And we're down and up. Okay, so find that control split squat. Okay, it's a very quick 30 seconds here, team. So if you don't want to have the weight, just ditch it, okay? Okay, so just staying on that one side. Find that control. Again, try to think inner thigh as you get to the bottom. You've only got 15 seconds, okay? So it's very quick. And then we're coming back to the forward, backward lunges, okay? And three, two, and one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you probably have forgotten what leg you were doing. So just remember your, whatever leg was going forward and backward, you had put this leg behind, okay? So now you're going to go into the forward backward with the leg that was in front, okay? Just, on, just now on these other exercises, okay? Hopefully that ended up working out. It honestly isn't the end of the world if somehow your leg got turned around. I just like really like to compound things on one leg. So that's my mode of apparatus. Eventually we're getting to it no matter what. So just timer's already rolling team. We've got those forward backward lunges happening. Let's go slow. Let's get that all set up. Perfect. Remembering you have the option of using that BOSU if you want to. Perfect. Okay, we've got our last 15 seconds here. So just stay with me forward, backward. And three, two, and one. Perfect. Okay, so stay with that foot. Remember, so whatever leg was going forward and backward is going to be your back one, okay? So just set that leg up and you've got your dumbbell in your other hand, if you have it, and we're tilting forward. Okay, find that hamstring. Perfect. If you do not have dumbbells, remember, try to go right down to the ground, just so that your body weight helps you activate that hamstring glute on the way back up. Perfect, we've got 20 seconds here. Stay with me. Perfect. All right, last five coming up here. Remember, we've got to scoot forward into that split squat. So three, two, one. So keep your back foot elevated on whatever you're using. This front foot comes way forward. And remember, just check in quickly with your hips. Weight is at your chest. And we're going straight down, okay? So always a crowd pleaser. It's only 30 seconds, so stay with me. You're doing great. Last little bit, we've got our last 15 seconds. Breathing. And 10. And five, four, three, two, and breathe. Okay, perfect. All right, so if you guys have um, that ankle band I was talking about earlier, if you have a heavy one-ish, put it on above your knees. If you don't have a band, you're just gonna follow along with what we're doing without it. But we're gonna go into a set of sidestep traveling squats. Okay, so we're traveling across the room, starting to get into the lateral side of your hips here, okay? So let's go for a minute here, depending on how much room you have, you're just gonna keep going back and forth across your room, okay? So just sidestep squat, always squatting where your legs are widest, okay? So big step, squat, feel those glutes, find that control, and just keep it going, perfect. All the way across your room. 
And then coming back, try to challenge yourself to go a little lower on your squat. We've got 15 seconds, and then we're all going to be down on the floor on our backs, okay? So we've got our last five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, so if you have your band on, keep it on. I like doing this body weight because I feel like it adds up no matter what. But if you want to add weight on your hips, never let me hold you back. But if you've got your band on or you're just following one body weight, it's gonna to go toes pointing forward, come down, toes pointing lateral. Okay, so we're alternating which direction our toes are pointing. All that means is when I say lateral, I just want you to push your uh, toes to out, to, uh, out to the corners of the room when, on that one. Okay, so one toes are straight forward. One toes are pointed towards the corners of the room, okay? And just going back and forth. Okay, so I find the first few reps feel quite easy, and then it starts to add up. Okay, so we're alternating back and forth. Watching that your rib cage is pulled in, that you're not compensating there. Getting those hips right up, alternating back and forth. We're gonna go for 30 more seconds, okay? So it's gonna to start to add up here. Just keep alternating that foot position. And last 20 seconds. Back and forth. Bingo. And keep it going. We've got five, four, three, two, and relax. Perfect. Okay. All right. Coming up to the top here. Okay. So probably saw this coming. We're going to go round two here. So we're going into those forward backward lunges. Remember, if you want to add your bosu, let's go for it. We're going to do it a little tiny bit differently in this sequence, but we're starting with the forward backward lunges. Okay. So here we go. Pick a leg and let's get that going forward backward okay so they're off okay okay getting into that last set okay just go slow yeah lots of stuff on the in this class just make sure you're getting that full range of motion okay you're only selling yourself short if you rush it okay so just nice and slow Usually those very small adjustments are where you will see the most results, okay? So just hold that thought. If I'm cueing something, just pay attention. Okay, so keep it going. We're gonna go for 10 more seconds. And then I just want you to take note of what leg is moving forward, backward, because that's going to be the last or the back leg. Okay, and three, two, one. Okay, perfect. So, coming right into that Bulgarian split squat. So whatever leg was moving forward back is your elevated one, okay? So get that leg up, get those hips turned to meet each other and we're down, okay? 30 seconds here. Okay, enjoy the ride. Perfect, nice and slow. You do not have to add weight, but I, all I ask is that you come all the way back up to where you started and then go all the way back down, okay? Looks good, yeah. Nice and slow. Perfect. And five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, okay, so the leg that was just in front is going to be the leg on the floor. If you need to use your toe, use your toe but we're doing a set of single leg to just down. Okay, so just on that one leg. Okay, so find that glute. Here they go. Okay, squeezing your bum as you come back up. So really focusing on that one side. Just breathing. Yeah, probably really feeling that one leg, which is the whole point. And last five, four, three, two, and shake it off. All right, nice work. Okay, perfect. So let's set this up on the other side. So if you're, if you're confused what leg to start with, I know it feels sometimes hard. 
the leg that was moving last time was just your leg that was behind. Okay, so the leg that you just had in front is going to be the leg going forward, backward. Okay, I know it's a bit counterintuitive there. So, ready? Or new mock, get set, let's do it. Let's get those forward, backward lunges complete on the other side. Okay, take your time, make sure you're getting right down into your position. Slow and steady. This is the last of these guys, so just savor it. You've got it. Okay, we're going to go into our last 10 seconds here. So just kind of give it a few more reps. And then remember, we're coming right into those split squats. So here we go and set it up. Okay, so the back, so whatever leg was moving forward, backward is going to be your back one. Okay, so set that up and then let's go into your split squat. Okay, nice and slow. Okay, challenge yourself to keep those hips as lined up as possible. Really try to not think about the back leg. That one's not really doing much. It shouldn't be anyways. It's a bit of a hard thing to turn off. And let's go nice and slow. We're gonna go 15 more seconds. Okay, so stay with me. Keep it slow, keep it controlled. Okay, last five. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, so remember the leg that was in front is going to be the leg that's on the floor. Take a deep breath. If you need to use your toe, that's okay. And we're doing those sit to stands. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Sit to stand. Bingo. Find that glute. Go. All right, last five, four, three, two, shake it off. All right, okay, so remember if you have that ankle band, let's throw it on. This is going to be our last set of squats here, okay? So we're doing one more set of those traveling squats across the room. Okay, so stay with me. We're going to do a minute. Take a deep breath. Get yourself set up. And the timer is going to be starting in three, two, one. Okay, so if you already started, bonus points. Okay. All right, big steps across the room. Find that control. Just keep thinking strong. Yeah. Nice and controlled, yeah. And just keep going all the way across the room, yeah. Looks good. You got it. All right, 30 seconds to go, so just keep back and forth. And then we're going to come back down for those bridges with the band on. So if you did it body weight and you found it wasn't hard enough, I'm more than happy to invite you to add weight if you have it. Otherwise, I have another variation here. So keep it going for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so if you're doing double leg and you were happy as is, leave your band on. If you found you were doing body weight and it wasn't hard enough, take your band off. Okay, so if you have the strongest butt in the world, so everybody else is going back to toes forward, toes lateral. If you want to take it up one more notch, you're coming into single leg bridges here, okay? So we're going toes forward, toes to the side of the room, okay? Find those glutes. We've got one more set. If you're not really feeling your bum, the chances are your heels are too far out, so pull them in closer to your glutes, okay? It's a very minor adjustment, but sometimes makes all the world of difference, okay? Good. Okay, we've got our last 20 seconds here. And 
10 seconds coming up. You guys are going to grab your little towel if you have it. And or a stability ball. Two, one. Okay, chill. Okay, so I'm going to show you with the stability ball. If you do not have a stability ball, you're going to use the towel below your feet, sliding it out on something like hardwood or linoleum or whatever you have that's going to slide. Okay, and if you don't have the ability to do that with the towel or the ball, I'm going to get you guys to come back to these donkey kicks. Okay, so going straight up. Okay, so this is our third option here. Okay, so just so we're still getting the glutes and the hamstrings. Okay, so here we go. They're off. Okay, so we're doing a few sets of this. So if you ended up doing the donkey kicks, you're not going to do the other side here. You're just going to follow us along into the next stuff. And then you're going to come back to your other side on the second set here. Okay. So just doing the one side if you're doing the donkey kicks. Okay. So 15 more seconds. And last 10. And five, four, three. Two, one. Okay, perfect. So everybody down with the foot on the floor and leg up in the air or crossed over. And we're going into single leg bridges. Okay, so we're squeezing that glute. If you already did a set, this is exciting because you get to do another one and we'll switch it halfway. Okay, so here we go. So I like my leg up, but if you like it more crossed over, Six of one, half a dozen of the other right now. Sometimes it makes a difference. Perfect. And just make sure you're getting all the way up to the top. We've got 10 more seconds on this side and then we're gonna go directly into the other side, okay? So three, two, one, okay, switch legs. Get that glute going. Remember that if you don't feel your glute, your heel is probably too far out. Challenge yourself to wiggle your toes a little bit in your shoe and see if you are actually pushing through your heel. Okay, so make sure the weight is in the heel of the foot that's on the floor. Okay, we've got our last 10 seconds and then we're coming back to the hamstring curls or those donkey kicks on the other side. Okay, so ready and you're back to your hamstring curls. Okay, so get yourself set up. This is gonna be our last set of this one. So feeling those hamstrings, otherwise coming into the donkey kicks on the leg you didn't do the last time, okay? Find your spot. Perfect. Nice and controlled. Yeah, and if you're using that towel, just be really careful, it, it's tricky. Okay, find that control. And perfect, we've got our last five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, okay, coming back to our very last set of the single leg bridges, okay? So one more thing, if you guys have a stability ball or you have something you wanna put your foot on, like a chair or a couch, and you wanna do the last set with your foot elevated, do not let me hold you back, that's going to be one stop harder, okay? So just, just inviting you to take it up a notch if you want to. Good, yeah, get that leg right up to the top. All right, we've got our last 10 seconds. And three, two, one, switching over to the other side. Get that going. Challenge yourself to keep your weight in your toe, or sorry, in your heel, not your, not your toes. And we've got our last 20 seconds. Okay, so getting that all the way up to the top, all the way back down. Perfect. And we've got our last five. Four, three, two, 
and shake it off. Perfect. Okay, so grab your knees and just roll out your lower back a little bit here. And then when you're ready, hopefully you have enough space, pull your one knee in, let your one leg fall to the floor. And then let's pull this leg across your body and just stretch out the lower, the glute and the whole lower back. And just take a couple deep breaths. Try to get your upper back to stay on the floor. Stretching out that hip. And then when you're ready, let's come into the other side. So pull that leg up to hip level and rotate over to the other side. And then coming into a seated position here. Just throw your feet together and just lean forward. And then when you're ready, let's get this one leg in and stretching over that one hamstring. And then we're gonna do the other side. So let's switch it over. Stretch out the other hamstring. Don't let me rush you if you're feeling like you need more time. And then let's come into this lunge position here. So you've got this one leg forward. And just hang out here. Get that hip flexor stretched out a little bit. And then coming into the other side with that other leg forward. And then we're going to mosey up to standing. We've got the quads here. Show's almost over. And then switch it over to the other side. All right, and last stretch of the day, go wide with your feet, turn one toe out to the side and let's lean over that hamstring. And then over to the other side, same deal. And that's a wrap, team. Thanks for joining me on this uh, leg day extravaganza. Have a good rest of the day.